Welcome to another day in the life. Normally I take my morning walk straight away, but since I plan to do plenty of walking on this day, I skipped it and went straight for the coffee. I prepare my coffee in the sink, and if you want to know how and why, I've linked a video about it in the corner. I use a small mocha pot and it's the perfect size for me. I have a bigger size too for when I have guests, but this is the one I use daily. To the coffee I add oat milk, the barista kind. On this day I change the sheets and toss the used ones in the hamper. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Lily Silk. If you have followed me for a while, you know I've been on the quest to upgrade my loungewear. Up until now, it's mostly consisted of worn out pieces of leggings, t shirts, and a few other things. So, when Lily Silk approached me and asked if I'd like to try some other silk products, I was very excited. Lily Silk make beautiful silk clothes, bedding, and accessories. And I picked a silk polka dot pajama slash loungewear set a charmeuse silk t-shirt and cotton backed silk pillowcases. Aside from feeling amazing and luxurious to wear on your body, mulberry silk has lots of beauty benefits to skin and hair. Silk is great for pillowcases as it's breathable and will stay dry even if you get warm at night like me. It's also said to have anti-aging qualities because silk pillowcases have a very smooth surface and tight weave so they don't cause sleep wrinkles like cotton pillowcases and help keep the skin moisturized. If you're a back sleeper like me, silk helps keep your hair from getting matted as it's allowed to move around freely. I chose the cotton back pillowcases because I don't trust my cats and can flip my pillows over to the cotton side when the bed is made during the day and not worry about claws. I love these additions to my home and wardrobe so thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Then I headed out towards the ferry which leaves from the old town. It's a 30 minute walk to the dock and a good one with plenty of nice views along the way. The ferry ride only takes about 15 minutes and you use your public transportation pass which is super convenient. Skeppsholmen is one of the many islands that Stockholm consists of, and there are several museums there. My goal of the day was the Modern Art Museum, the Center of Architecture and Design, and the Museum of Far Eastern Antiquities. I've been to all three before, and the admission is mostly free, so I like that I can just pop in to see parts when I feel like it. I started off with the Museum of Modern Art. This is my favorite space in the museum, obviously. What's not to like about the grey and white bed, the emerald green and cat litter? I do love me some Picasso too, though. I was super inspired and kind of want to make a mixed media collage now. Who knows, maybe this summer. I also approve of the museum's furniture choices. Then I went next door to Arc Des. They have all these cool architects models. Making these is probably my dream profession. Not the actual buildings, just the mini versions. Love this one, as it's basically the view across the water from where I live. 
and I walk past this building almost daily on my morning walks. This is the suburb I used to live in before moving back into the city center. And this is pretty much the type of house I grew up in, in another suburb. And how cute is this? And of course, there is an amazing shop between the museums. Museum shops are the best. I don't buy much, but it's a great place for gifts. I did pick up a few of these glass votive holders, so I can get the refilled candles without the aluminum from now on. Then I continued my walk to the Museum of Far Eastern Antiquities. There's currently a Boro exhibit there that I was excited to see. Is this not the best? I love the flower arrangements. The cinema knot was also not bad. The exhibit was small but beautiful. Oro are a class of Japanese textiles that have been mended or patched together. There were antique Boro pieces and modern ones, and it was all super inspiring. I made my way back towards home with a couple of pit stops along the way. A quick browse in some little shops in the old town. Crossed over to my borough of Södermalm and went to Granit, which is a great shop for storage and where my bath towels are from, for those who have been asking. I've been looking for a water bottle with a straw and I found it. Hello! Walked past the little weekend market in my neighborhood and back home. All in all, almost 14,000 steps over three and a half hours. Not bad. And as it turns out, in almost 30 degree weather. First things first, the parasol needed to go up. Then I switched to shorts and had some lunch. Mini joined. I chilled for a bit and then had an early dinner. Watermelon feta, basil and white balsamic vinegar. It's my go-to in warm weather and I can't even be bothered to add cucumber this year. Hashtag lazy. Of 
By that time it was also rosé or cloth, with ice which eventually melted in the heat. Ended my day watching some YouTube and that was a day in my life. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. If you're looking for sources for things you might get lucky in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hej då!